This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we are going to be talking about games that you can get over the holidays for a gift or for your gaming group or for whoever. But Black Friday's coming, folks, and well, I just want to share with you some of the games that I think would be really good to give as presents this year that I don't think anybody would ever be disappointed in getting. That's for doggone sure. So let's start right off with... Well, a game I've talked about tons and tons of times, and that's Tales of the Red Dragon Inn. Um, another just fantastic special game uh, that you could play one versus many, or or you can just uh, um, uh, you could play solo, you could play as a group against the AI. It just does a lot of things. It's a lot of fun. It's not rule intensive. It doesn't drive you crazy, and it's a great game. Now, none of these games are in order as far as which one's better than the other one. I think anything you just see off this list, you could pick, and it just might fit whoever that person may be. Um, and I didn't put any Kickstarters on here or um, things that are really expensive that you have to try to find. I kind of just put out things that are available and that you can find without hunting too much on, on, on the Internet for so uh, let's continue on. Uh, another game is, uh, you know, you go over to, to uh, FallenDominionGames.com and you can get yourself, and this is the expansion for Fallen Lands. A game that's been around a while, but has come out with a second edition. This is a game that you cannot lose with. It is a lot of fun. It is something that is special. It, it plays really well. Um, and, and you want to pimp it up and go all in on this. And um, I think it, it'd be a fantastic gift for somebody or something that pe someone would get a lot of playability out of a post-apocalyptic world. How can you go wrong? The next one is a game that I absolutely love, which is usually D100 Dungeon. Now you can get that as well, but D100 Space is the follow-up and if you have a friend, somebody or somebody that means a lot to you that is a sci-fi person that doesn't have a gaming group or something, this is a great game for them. They would love this. Uh, this or Dungeons, whichever one you decide, it's easy to find. Just go to MK uh, Martin Knight Games uh, or you can go to um, uh, oh God, Drive Through RPG. They will print out a copy and send it to you. It's affordable, it's cheap, it's a great stocking stuffer and a lot of fun. Next one is a game that recently came out, which is the Resident Evil. Not the second one, not the third one. They went backwards. They went from three to two to one, which I thought was really cool. But the first one's a lot of fun. And you can check out a great video by my good friend, um, uh, Adam Smith, um, over there uh, at Rolling Solo. He did a fantastic job showing you how to play it. You'll love it. It's fun. It's creepy. It's everything that you want and a ton, a ton of fun. A game that I've covered here extensively, Shadows of Brimstone Adventures, uh, came out this summer. Uh, maybe your your significant other or your gaming group hasn't tried this yet. Either one that you can go with, you can't go wrong, Valley of the Serpent Kings or Gates of Valhalla. I had to check and make sure I say the right, the right names. But both these sets are fantastic. It depends what your preference is. Vikings or the Spanish Main. Whichever one you want, you will be off on a terrific adventure. Uh, just 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 hightailing it through through adventure after adventure and it works with all the other stuff so it is a home run either way you look another game uh, that i'm going to add to this list is monster hunter world it's available at our good friends over at Min uh, miniature market um there are a couple different um, uh, volumes of this you can get the ancient forest or you can get um, there's another one out there and then there's expansion for it. You could just get one of the boxes and it'd be enough game in there to have enough fun with enough replayability to really enjoy yourself. So I really suggest 
this this is a, was a lot of fun to paint there's not a lot of miniatures it's big monsters and four heroes and you are off and running and having a good time the only thing for me is there is a lot of symbols and sometimes that can drag it down a little bit but once you get used to them you've got a hell of a game here just like the real game it takes a bigger learning curve but you'll have a lot of fun with it and get a lot of enjoyment out of it another game that is on this list if you love scythe um, from stonemeyer games a great fantastic company with with one of the most brilliant men I've I've ever got to know or or anything who always makes a great game. Expeditions is just a tremendous, tremendous experience. Um, going on the side quest, playing it solo against the automaton uh, is a lot of fun. Or playing with a group against each other, you get a lot of enjoyment out of this. It is the sequel, sort of, kind of. But it does a great job of not feeling like it was just rehashed. It is an ex experience unto itself and something that's just a lot of fun. Another great game is from my good friend John. And uh, uh, if you like dexterity games and sports games, well, Table Golf Association is the game for you. This needs to be under your your stocking it is fun it is as close to playing real golf if you are a golf fanatic or even if you just have a party i mean as a matter of fact we're doing a christmas uh gaming night which i don't want to do but they want to do and you know this is one of the ones i'm thinking of rolling out because it's easy to teach everybody i mean even my wife will play this and it's a lot of fun and everybody will enjoy themselves and have a blast and laugh. And that's what it's all about. Yet, have that competitiveness and and yet that sense of fun and ease. That anybody can do it. Anybody can get lucky and have a great time. And I think this is just one of those games that you will have a blast at. Table Golf Association, go over and uh, look it up. You can buy it on their website, which would be fantastic. A game that I absolutely love that I'm going to put on this list is Arceus. Uh, Indiana Jones stuff that you really like. Hey, listen, we have to wait for Secrets of the Lost Station, uh, uh, Lost Tomb. That's okay. In the meantime, Arceus really fills that 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 ancient Egypt uh, digging through and 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 just having a blast kind of thing. And um, uh, the way it goes together, it's unique. It's fun. Uh, plays very simple, easy to learn, impossible to solve, but you'll have a blast playing this. It's tough, it's glorious, not a ton of miniatures, which is glorious unto itself, and just just everything that you want out of a, a, a unique little dungeon crawl. I think you would really like it. Another game that is going to be on this list, um, and you should be able to find it over at GMT, uh, and that is Space Empires. It's probably one of the greatest 4X space games ever out there. Uh, it is a lot of fun solo, but it is so much fun with anywhere from two to three players. Easy to learn. One of the things that people always complain about, that the, the, the uh, bookkeeping looks intimidating. No, it's not. Once you do it once and get, get it, it is a lot of fun. Um, figuring out how you spend your resources, what you want to do. Do I want to get more scout ships and go out for, forward? Or do I want to protect my planet, planet and my resources coming in so I have money coming in so I can buy more ships? Or maybe invest in a big warship. But being careful to go out there because the space, it's unknown and bad things could happen. That's for sure. Another fantastic game I really suggest is Maximum Apocalypse. Um, they just came out with another edition of it. Um, this is just one of those companies that does everything right. The quality of this is great. Um, trying to get back to your van, getting resources, doing all kinds of different things, whether you're facing vampires, kaiju, robots, aliens never feels the same 
you understand what you have to do, but it is just one of those games that is a lot of fun and just not that easy to master. So definitely a game with a ton of replayability where you could play it with somebody else or play it solo um, because that's always important, having that good variance. I think it's something that you will really, really, really love. My good friends, I mean, what list would, would, would I have for Christmas and the holidays without putting my good friends from Chip Theory Games on that list? And that is their newest edition, 20 Strong. Whew. I'll tell you something. These guys just keep kicking it old school. And this is a very affordable game with beautiful cards, beautiful playability, um, fun you know, uh, never the same, um, different variances, uh, and dice chucking. If you love dice chucking, you're going to love this, and this is a must-have. If you want to have a really good game, go over to Chip Theory Games, uh, order your copy for the holidays, and you won't be disappointed. It comes in a small package, but let me tell you something, there's a lot of bang in there. And it's a great stocking stuffer or just plain old gift um, for that gamer that's in your life. <clears throat> Finally, I'm going to give a very broad selection. And that's any coin game from our good friends at GMT. Um, they just released another one. They, they, there's so many out there. Fire in the Lake. There's expansions for it. Uh, Labrith, all these fantastic coin games. You do not have to be a war gamer to appreciate these conflicts and how smart they are, the resurgence uh, and, and, and rebellion and how these things play out. Um, there are so many of them out there, whether you want to do the Hundred Year War or you want to do Afghanistan in a modern setting or you want to do Vietnam, or, or whatever you, pushes your fancy. This is one of those unique systems that just does a great job. And any time you get the quality of GMT behind a game, you are getting a lot. A game with tons of playability for, for the solo player or for the group. Um, just one of those things that is very special and stands out and i really think it's something that you will really really enjoy so i highly 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 suggest that and just about anything else from gmt so that's just a short list to give you some ideas what i suggest after a fantastic year that we've had in gaming um i was sick for most of it but i'll tell you something the gaming has come back in in tenfold and things are just uh, heating up again with fantastic games. Matter of fact, almost too many games if you really look at it. But I wanted to give you some ideas, both big and small, that you can get over the holidays that I highly suggest. There's other stuff out there that just might fit you. I don't know. I hope you find what you're looking for. I want to wish you all a very happy holiday. And good luck shopping because, boy, it's a pain in the neck. I'm glad I don't have to go anymore. I hate Black Friday. Now I just try to put my head under the covers and wait for Saturday so I can watch, you know, some of the football games. You know, Michigan, Ohio, and all that other stuff. Well, nevertheless, enjoy your holidays. Uh, you'll be hearing more from me uh, this week. And as always, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.